Welcome back to Blue Collar Bass and TV. Today, folks, I'm going to show you my brand new Sun Dolphin American 12 foot John boat and how I put full casting decks on this thing. So stay tuned. If you're looking for a John boat to get out and fish this summer, look no further than the Sun Dolphin American 12. If you're like myself, I couldn't find an aluminum John boat anywhere because of COVID. So I had to pick this one up. This one was $550 at Academy Sports. I'll link that in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, come along on this journey. I'm going to show you what I did as far as casting decks and making this thing more fishable and to make it more real realistic towards like a bass boat type build. All right guys, so this is gonna be an update video to the previous John Boat Sun Dolphin build that I had. So it was indoors, I wasn't able to get outside uh, because of the weather, so I'm shooting it outside today. The weather's good, it's 70 degrees, and we're gonna break this John Boat down and show you what it's made out of. So up here in the front, I'm gonna start with the trolling motor setup. So I have a Minn Kota Endura C2 55 pound thrust trolling motor. I also, Put a custom rudder that I also made. I'm going to make a video on how to make this. Uh, this is going to help it steer a lot better since this is the only motor that is on this boat. So if you come down here real quick, I actually had to adjust the mount a little bit. So if you get one of these Minn Kota trolling motors, you're going to have to do the same modification. So what was happening with the trolling motor straight up and down, it was actually rubbing on the corner of the boat. So I had to put a little bushing in here, which I made out of a piece of plastic to give it enough clearance to actually sit there and turn. All right, so keep that in mind when you're buying one of these Minn Kota trolling motors. Also up here, the main part of the build is the casting deck. I think that is what everybody wants. That way they can pretty much mimic like they're on a bass boat and you can be a lot more efficient when you're fishing. So all I did guys with this is I just took some scrap plywood that I had laying around the garage and I had some uh, mats that I ordered off Amazon, rubber mats, since this is going to be a river fishing boat. I didn't want to be getting mud all over the carpet and stuff, that's why I went with this uh, matting. I also put a layer of outdoor exterior paint. That way that makes it a little bit more waterproof and it doesn't ruin the wood. There's a lot of little compartments, that way it makes it harder to actually build something. So you have to fill those crevices with little pieces of wood or things to make it more stable. Also have the braces right here that supports the middle of the platform, that way it's not gonna fall through. If you have any questions about that folks, just put it in the comment box below. And guys, this thing weighs 37 pounds actually put it on a scale. Okay, the middle floor. With this, I just had some plastic laying around. It's like an old plexiglass or something, but anyhow, you just cut you a template, lay the template down on whatever you're gonna use as your flooring, and you just cut it out, folks. And whatever, if you go with carpet, whatever, I went with the rubber matting again, you just epoxy it to it somehow with glue. And this right here weighs 17 pounds. And for the rear casting deck, you can stand on this, by the way, if you're gonna fish two people. Uh, it's supported also on the sides by these pieces right here. And then in the back, it kind of supports the weight with these two pieces of wood. All right back here, always carry a spare paddle just in case, you know, the trolling motor or the battery stops. You have a backup plan and also I'm working on building a rudder for this thing that way it steers a little bit more straight yeah and that's it and I just picked up an Everstart battery it's a 24 group size marine uh, deep cycle battery from Walmart I think it was around 75 bucks also place that in the description box as well guys it has a little compartment right here you can also stand on it it has a uh, metal brackets right here that support the weight yeah, and just added a little handle that was made out of uh, some anchor line that I had. 
So if you look right here, I also made some accessory uh, additions here. I got some pliers made by Pissafun. I'll place these in the description box as well. These are awesome pliers. They're made out of aluminum, so they're not going to be rusting. And I made a little DIY holder for them. Right, I just connected that straight to the rod holder that is pre-existing on this boat. And then I also have a fish measuring board. All right, that way if you're doing any John boat tournaments, things like that, you can measure your fish. And guys, that's about it. If you have any questions, place those in the comment box below. And all right guys, since we're on a budget, we also have a budget anchoring system here. All I have right here is a simple anchor cleat that we can tie off to a dock or whatever. And I just have that drilled straight into the hull of the boat with just one piece of anchor synthetic rope. All right, so this, this allows me to fish and also just stop randomly and be able to lift this up. That way I can stop and go and fish real easy. Don't have to get too complicated with it. And when I want to anchor off and actually lock this into place, I got this little redneck screwdriver. And I just slip that in place. And that is going to hold that line behind the, the anchor cleat and keep you positioned in place. All right, guys, if you're wondering about the stability on this boat with this casting deck, because it does raise the center of gravity up, it's actually really good, guys. If you're used to kayak fishing where you're standing up on a really thin kayak, this is going to be for you. All right, so I'm rocking this back and forth. You know, and with any balance, it'll... guys, if you're wondering about the stability on this boat, it's really good. If you're used to fishing off of a kayak where it's really thin and you're standing up, this is going to be no issue for you. With any balance at all, you can keep this boat from tipping very easily, okay? So I plan on fishing like this, flipping, pitching from the side. I can operate the trolling motor very easily. Welcome to the rear of the boat. Once again, pretty stable. Like I said, you can fish off the back of this boat if you're fishing with two people. Okay, bring your buddy out. All right, so see, this is very stable, folks. I'll even jump up and down. Guys, we're back home. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, like always, hit the subscribe button. Help us grow this channel. That way we can bring you more content each and every week. And like always, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you can stay informed when I upload videos and you can be the first one to watch them. And if you have any comments or questions about the build, go ahead and list those in the comment box below. And I hope you guys have a good day.